So I want to demo Actuator to you. This is a new product designed to isolate CI specifically for people that use Docker and Kubernetes in a GitHub action. Um, Self-hosted runners are difficult to set up initially. They require a lot of babysitting. They often break and have dirty state. And the options for building containers in Kubernetes just aren't secure or they just take a lot more time because they're so awkward. This solution that I'm going to show you right now um, has a different runs on label. It says actuated. That's all we need to change to get a action to get it to run in this new system. Then I have an action that installs K3S directly on the host and we'll wait until it's ready and we'll have a look at the nodes and pods that are available. So what I'm going to do is just make a tiny edit to kick this off and then we'll jump over to the control plane which we can see here. Now the control plane is receiving webhook events from GitHub and you can see that it's doing capacity management and it's found a machine where we can allocate um, a micro VM. On the other side, we have the agent, which in the time it took me to say that has already booted up. Docker is pre-installed on it. And this is an ephemeral VM and an ephemeral runner. Kubernetes has already started. And if we go over to GitHub, we will see this running through all of those steps. So it takes a couple of seconds, took 12 seconds to get ready. Now we're waiting for core DNS, another part of Kubernetes, but we're done. Um, we got nodes up, they're ready. We're able to look at the pods. And then you could do something like install your Helm charts, install the, the product that you're building and test it in end to end. Um, and you'll see now that this VM has been completely destroyed and removed and cannot run another job for us. Up on the other side, uh, we keep a track. So if you have any cancelled builds, they will be completely removed as well. But what if you try to run a matrix job with, what have we got? Five different jobs. Now each of these is allocated a set amount of RAM pre-configured. So when I kick this off, we're not actually going to be able to um, do all of them at once because the machine won't be able to. And what will happen is we will throttle it and look for other machines that could potentially take on those jobs and VMs. So we're already at the point where uh, we fitted as many VMs as we can on that agent. We don't have any more in the, in the pool that are available for this customer. And you can see it's even trying to schedule it on my Raspberry Pi, but that's an ARM machine can't build there and so we will see these gradually getting rescheduled and put exactly where they're meant to be all of them have run so we've had five individual vms that have been created with firecracker um, that have run to completion and over on the other screen we have our actions runner in the fifth vm it's now connected to github and listening for that final job it's running it and then that itself is going to be destroyed. Now, if you want to know more about how all of this works, or even if you're interested in participating in the pilot with your company, with your team, um, head over to docs.actuated.dev. You'll find a lot of details on here on what we manage for you uh, and what you need to provide. This is very high level solution, really. There's just one or two things for you to change to actually um, get the benefits of completely isolated, immutable CI infrastructure. So get in touch. Um, we'd love to hear from you. If this is something that interests you, if you're not quite sure how it compares to hosted runners or the options on Kubernetes, go and read the FAQ um, and see if any of that resonates with you.